Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Breiner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, a little while ago I um, I did a um, blog on how to create modeled threads and uh, that included downloading an app from the Autodesk Exchange app website. So um, today I thought I would go and um, take a little more in-depth look at the Autodesk Exchange apps website. I'm sure a lot of you may have already perused it. Uh, there may be newcomers or even some uh, experienced users that just didn't take the time to look. But um, it certainly has some nice value. So um, with that in mind, uh, I thought I'd go over it. Now this is going to be just an overview from like 30,000 feet. Uh, it would take a, a much too long uh, period of time or video to review individual apps or go in depth. So, um, with that being said, uh, I'm uh, I'm here in my Inventor application, and I just want to go to um, the Tools bar up here, and right here is the Exchange shortcut. So, if I just click on this, it'll bring up my web browser and open up the Autodesk App Store. So you can see right here that it brings you right to the Inventor uh, site. Now if you go to the pull down you'll see that there's more specific sites for Revit, AutoCAD, Fusion, you know a lot of uh, whatever your discipline may be. But for uh, for this video we're going to stay with the Inventor. And um, one thing, just a word of note, um, it looks to me that you know Autodesk put a lot of work uh, and effort into getting this set, this site started years ago um, to get the a group of developers to develop apps. Um, not so much in the last couple years. Um, a lot of the apps that I see here were developed in 2012, 13, and 14. I did not find a great deal of apps developed uh, more recent uh, in 15 and 16 or uh, maybe few and far between but again I haven't opened up to every one so uh, I don't want to jump to conclusions. Uh, I would have expected more development in the past couple years but I just don't know that that has happened. With that said there still are many useful apps um, and uh, depending on your needs, I'm sure there's something in here for everyone. So many of the apps are free, but you will see that there are some that are anywhere from a dollar. Uh, I found one for 350 bucks. Uh, I just find that a little bit. It just better do the model and the drawing for me at that cost. But um, there's a lot of them for free, and now there's a lot for trial, which gives you a a period to try them out. Uh, some of them leave a light version behind after the 15 or 30 day trial period. Um, I guess you'd probably have to email the, the developer to find out what the real cost is. Uh, some of them don't give it to you, but you'll see some of these tell you right up front they're $10, $20. Um, depending on your needs, it certainly may well be worth it. Um, I have tried several of these, and um, the one I have, the, some of the ones I have tried, I've tried the uh, um, batch spell checker. Uh, let me see. I'm not even sure if I. Let's uh, let's take a look. So if you don't know where they are, you can just um, type in right here. You just start typing in what you're looking for, and a lot of times they'll come right up and uh, here it is. So uh, I downloaded this one. Again it's free. Uh, it works pretty well. I mean it's uh, you can batch check uh, groups of drawings. However um, this does, let's see if it's in the documentation here. Uh, a lot of these uh, you can, they have help documents. Uh, you can open these and um, it gives you a little bit more general uh, information. So I would uh, I would go in and uh, check a lot of this information if if you're interested in 
So it gives you a little idea of what you're looking at, uh, how uh, what the results are going to be. So um, it gives you an overview. This one's not bad. However, it only does check text and leader text. So text uh, fields. But like all of these, it gives you kind of like the price, the download. It gives you the size, when it was released, last update. Uh, a lot of these tell you what versions it's been updated to. Uh, and it also has um, customer support or um, email information that you can uh, check with the developer. So this one, I, I don't know that it's uh, that great of a value, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, a couple others. Uh, there's another one here. I am. Let's see. I have tried this one. Uh, Bomb Tools Pro. Uh, very nice. Uh, this one will export uh, a bomb from assembly uh, right to Excel. And with that, it's got uh, the thumbnails, uh, and you can choose a lot of the fields that you want included into the bomb. So this one, uh, this one works pretty well. And um, however, again, it is a trial. After the trial period, I think of 15 days, uh, you're left with a light version of uh, it. Only do 100 rows. It only will export the part number, description, quantity, and thumbnail. So, um, so it's a stripped down version, but it does work. The loaded one uh, works real well. So. Again, you've got a 15-day period to try it out. Let's see, a couple others that I have tried. Um, again, the website, you can get featured apps, most popular. Uh, you can filter these in any number of ways. Uh, you can go through here. Um, it gives you a brief description when you hover over it. So this one kind of works pretty nice, this website. Here's one. Uh, I did download this one. This one works. Uh, this one's pretty slick. Now again, this is a trial. I don't know what the cost is. It gives you the version, so it's updated for um, from 13 all the way to 17. Um, but this one has uh, some real nice features. You can do um, a lot of different sheet mail shapes, um, elbows, transitions. So um, it's got some real nice features in this. I have tried. I did try this out. Again, this is also a trial. Uh, this one worked pretty nice, so I would think if you work in sheet metal, uh, this could really be a nice, um, a nice add-on. So, um, one of the things that I was looking at, and I, I mistakenly thought these were the number of downloads behind the stars, so you have it rated, but these are the reviews. Uh, one of the things, uh, this is the one I downloaded the other day, uh, the Thread Modeler. This works real nice, so it's 82 reviews. I would also would have liked to have seen how many downloads there are. Uh, I think that is a telling um, statistic. When I see that, you know, 50,000 people have downloaded this um, compared to maybe, you know, 40. So, um, Although there's, you know, the reviews I like too, then most of these are extremely positive. Some give some excellent information. But again, uh, and then there's another one of publisher information. So you see this is uh, Cool Orange, and they give you a quick overview of some of the other um, apps that that, uh, that developer may have produced. So here, here's the website. There's their email address. You can email that developer with questions, uh, whatever you may have. So they're just some of the, the basic utilities. Again, some are um, at a cost. Uh, you can go under, you can um, filter these different ways if you have CAM programs or translator, but a lot of them under general ut utilities is a big help. So I can come in here and um, look for a lot of them. I did take a look at mass in pounds. It's free. I didn't really see uh, a lot of good help there. Um, what's another one? This one here, this quick views. This one wasn't bad. This is free. Uh, it'll um, it'll help apply uh, views into a drawing. 
uh, I just took a little bit of a look uh, a review of this I found some interesting things where it'll give you information about um, where the part is located or the view that you uh, took of a particular part what sheet it's on uh, that would come in rather helpful I think if you have a big assembly with a lot of individual parts it'll tell you how many views you placed and what sheet they're on so um, there are some real nice things to this um, there is a uh, another app uh, it's called um, auto draw now that one is a uh, a trial at a cost it's a lot more robust where it will automatically place views for you of every assembly in part uh, depending on how you want to set them up again if you've got a, an assembly with 30 40 50 parts and you need views it's it's a it could be a real time saver um, so that's that's one thing uh, you could look into but like any tool uh, you should try out the website here to see if any of these apps apply to you uh, and the way you work um, there's a lot of things in here and I would think there's a little something for almost anyone um, so uh, I encourage you to take a look poke around open them up um, again if they're free or even trial download them give them a try and see how they work for you there's a lot in here that really I don't know I just look at them as a little fluff but um, not bad but there's undoubtedly something for everyone so go in and take a look um, again if you uh, you can click on your um, your information toolbar or just come to apps.autodesk.com and you can access it that way so I hope this was a bit of a help um, some nice information in here and anything to help you work uh, more efficiently and make your life a little easier uh, this is Dave Briner from Centers of Technologies uh, have yourself a great day and until later